Hi! Oh, hi! It's chill with Kirkflix. Oh my! <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. And Happy New Year's everyone. Um, 2017, off to a great start. And I hope everyone is. Um, haven't been filming as much lately. And those that follow know it's due to my mother, moving my mother in with this, and it's just been a little bit hectic because she's been in the hospital, and everything is good now, so trying to finish up what I have to do. What I'm working on are some centerpieces that I want, these are a foot tall, which would be the highest point to, point to the lowest peak point of this little baby angel. Love, love, love this. And what I did is this gold on her little wings and on her halo, I added uh, stickles. I'm going to put one of these together first. And see if I can find my sticks that I didn't grab first. <clears throat> Boy, I feel like I might be getting a cold. I sure hope not. Don't want to get my mother sick. I hope everybody had an absolutely fantastic New Year's. Uh, my husband and I took my mother out to eat and came home. It was a wild one. Yeah, out to dinner and home. I, I, I said to my husband, I, can't, I can hardly remember what we used to do on um, New Year's Eve, but anymore I can't even stay awake. Uh, I think we went to my daughter's last year and my husband and I just go, oh man, is it midnight yet? Because boy, when you get older, it's just another day. But we took my mother out for dinner this time, and, and my daughter and her three kids went on a ski trip. And my other daughter, and with her five, her brew of five, all went up to visit her fiance's family a little bit north of where we're at. And she's posted a bunch of pictures that looks like they had a great time. Their kids are young and they love to go out uh, in the snow on, on the tractor. I think it's a tractor. Something. Pretty sure it's a tractor. But wouldn't don't don't hold me to that because I'm not sure. These little pieces are so easy to put together compared, <laughs> compared to the big ones. Um thank you for all the well wishes on my mother. I greatly appreciate it. Um, she is doing absolutely fantastic. Um, having a great time. Uh, having just moved her in. And it was such a spur of the moment thing. But, oh my gosh, I, I feel so, so incredibly good about it. And she is so happy. Um, I told my husband the other day, you know, when we first did it with... Uh, I was talking to my brother and saying, okay, give it a shot and see how it goes. Well, you know, once you do that, it doesn't matter. There's no way I can. <gasps> Isn't she cute? Isn't she so cute? Oh, I really like her. I put the glossy in the eyes. A lot of this I noticed that you can't see that well in the pictures. They look much better in person, but that is adorable. Anyway, what I was saying is probably I forgot um, that I have... have yeah, I always, I always check the touch base with my mom, my mom, making sure she's happy and and not missing her home that she, I never thought she'd move out of. And uh, I just touch base with her because it's a little chaotic around here uh, pretty much most of the time. And uh, her response was, is, is she's loving every minute of it. And has absolutely zero regrets and zero interest in going back home. Actually, I don't even think she wants to go back there to get her things. I think she just wants to be done. She's she's loving it. And my she's full of rot now too. My husband gets up and makes her breakfast every morning. And which reminds me, I'm gonna have to put this now I gave them to her. I'm sitting here thinking, did I give her, her pills? Yes I did. I gave them to her at supper time. Big responsibility for me because I have to make sure I get all our meds to her and to myself. So I put the two together so we can both take them at the same time. But um, 
having a really good time. Really, really good time. Making up for a lot of lost time. And she's absolutely loving the grandkids. She's got a particular soft spot for Isabel, the three-year-old. And today, today she fell asleep, kind of dozed off on the couch watching TV. And when she woke up, she was all weepy. And I'm like, well, what's, what's the matter? What happened? Because you know, she hasn't, hasn't been like that for a while. Well, something was going on on TV, a show that the TV was set on that I have no idea what it was, nor do I know how it got there because I didn't put it on that. Um, I didn't ask her what it was about, but she was having a nightmare about Isabel. So she woke up so upset. It took her a while, really, to get over it. I don't know what it was, but I don't want to ask. Those kinds of things I don't I don't like to know. But, anyway, um, Kendall went to the doctor on Friday, and she's got two appointments left, and she's done. And she will have her port removed, I believe they said the 17th of March, which I know sounds like a long time away, but it isn't. Everything that we've been through with her... Seems like it, it started yesterday, and it's, it's already been two years and and then some. So we're all pretty excited, trying to figure out what our big trip's going to be, our big treat for that to celebrate. Haven't figured that one out yet. My um, daughter wants to get a hot tub, and of course my grandkids think that's an awesome idea to do in honor of Kendall. Um, because she'll be able to go back in the hot tub. She hasn't been able to go in the hot tub for two years now. So, um, we have one, and she used to go in it all the time in this past, well, this past couple, couple summers. The one summer, it didn't bother so much because she was going through the really, really tough chemo at that time that she didn't have interest in doing anything. She was sick all the time. And last summer she was feeling really good the entire summer and wanted to go in but couldn't and it was real hard for me because I didn't want anyone to go in if she couldn't however that's not fair to everybody yeah it was a it was a tough one but we got through it just made us all stronger right I think what else has been going on my my, my brother-in-law and my husband are downstairs watching the Packers game with my mother. Um, and they have a tendency, they just get kicking, kicking back and forth to each other in Spanish just because that's, that's their pr primary language. And so they get going and they get laughing. Just I've taken videos of them when they get laughing because they're just hilarious. And then they get my mother laughing and my mother has no clue what's going on. And she'll just look at me and she'll be laughing and laughing, but she's laughing at them laughing. And then she'll just kind of say, what just happened? It's pretty funny. It's comical to watch. There I got the three little angels done. Now, what I'm going to do is I got their maternity pictures. And let me take the ones apart from here. Come here, come here, come here. I took, removed the background using the... the um, um, let me check and see what it's called again. Yeah, it's called... I keep thinking, what is that called? Clippingmagic.com And guys, I did figure out, it was really bothering me because I kept forgetting things and I was thinking, oh, now I can relate to my mother. However, I realize why it's gotten so bad now is because one of the side effects of gabapentin, which is one of the, the medications I'm on for my burning mouth syndrome, side effect is um, forgetfulness. So I have decided that that's my problem. I'm not. I'm not going dumb. I'm because they doubled my medications, <laughs> and so I am so loopy. And it's been scary because I'll be talking to my mother and her and I'll be trying to figure something out. And it's like the blind leading the blind. My husband asked me to do something tonight. And I said, don't put me, don't, don't set me up. 
Um, this is their maternity pictures that I've done. And I took the Clipping Magic and I removed all of the background. And um, this is the only thing I'm not understanding. This is weird. Pretty weird. Because that's okay. Anyway, I took the picture of the couple and took out all the background, which I think these pictures are just absolutely adorable. And then I put a frame around them because the picture was cut across like this. And so I didn't want to just cut them out and not have, uh, have them just out there in, in space. So I put the frame around them. And I, and I cut this as one, and then I cut the color out of the, the, um, the frame, whoop, the gold, to bring the gold in it. What did they do with my spatula? Here it is. Oh. And I want to move this over a little bit, I think. I think I want to move it over a little bit. We're going to find out if I want, how badly I want to move it over. some reason this isn't going on where I want it to so let's give this a try and I don't think I've even filmed since Christmas I hope everybody had a wonderful wonderful spectacular Christmas I know we did um, it was a definitely a long one uh, my uh, daughter and her fiance, both of them have their children on the same schedule, so they didn't have their children for Christmas Eve. And so I can't remember what we did, but we went over to my daughter's. I'm not liking the way this is fitting in the middle here, so you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to skip it. There we go. That covered up where it wasn't. There we go. I don't know why that was off. Anyway, I um, spent uh, Christmas at my daughter's and of course the baby was there because the baby is theirs so I spent that time with him one-on-one -on -one. little baby Lane is 10 months old he'll be 11 months old soon I think in a, I think in a week um, and he was he is walking and and Becoming a little boy and not a baby. 100 miles an hour. My daughter sent pictures, or my daughter in law sent pictures this morning of him going potty on the big potty, which that was just, that was just accidental because he's not old enough. But he did it a few times and they kept texting everybody in the family saying, he did it again, he did it again. But I got news for him. Highly unlikely that he will do that more often, or that often. That's an accident. Now, I'm going to put these two pieces together. And what I did is I wanted to give it the cutout. That's the reason I cut out the background and put the frame around it. So I can give it that look and that look. I don't like that. It's not in the middle. I eyeball this, but my eyeball shoes are pretty good. That's in the middle. So I'll put that back down. And I'm dealing with these fake fur things here, and they're making my nose itch like crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay. I'll get one of these done, and these are all all for one um, order. They're having apparently they're having a baby girl. I guess I could have added some. Well, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm thinking out loud, guys. Ignore it. Ignore my thinking. I'm going to add buttons and things to these too else is going on? 
besides, now there's, I'm sure there's more going on. My dad and stepmom and my brother came up to visit yesterday for, for, you know what, it's not fur, it's four. I just said fur. Boy, I tell you what, I, I, I have, I destroyed the English language, that's for sure. But I don't think I'm alone on that. I've seen some, I've seen some posts on Facebook that have uh, definitely uh, destroying the English language. <laughs> there are some, there are some dandies out there, I'll tell you that. Some real dandies. I don't want this one to flop around backwards. Let me think if it would. If it would, with the other side pinned on it. No, it won't. It could. It would. I'm going to stick this little tiny piece of piece right there just to be safe. There we go. And let me see. I'm going to stick that right under there and right there. Let's see. Yep, not going to move now. Not going to move now. There we go. And I'm trying to think here, guys. What else might be going on? And cannot think of anything of importance. Which probably anything that I ever say is not of importance. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to get this one done and I will finish the all the pieces up and then take some pictures. Um, I didn't show you a whole lot here, did I? I'm I'm really kind of out of sorts, guys. I don't know what's going on. My mind's gone. I'm losing it. I'm definitely losing it. I'm recognizing that. There we go. Well, I better finish one because I want to tell you what I'm going to do with these buttons and stuff. I got a bunch of the little embellishments out here to finish them off. And so, I should better hurry up and finish them off. Something's just bugging me. Let's see what I want to do with this. She's got kind of, it looks like a feathery. It's almost, I don't know if it's feather or fur, little bottom skirt on here. So this is some Christmas garland that I'm going to add to her skirt. And it is a, again, I can't tell though if it's, if it's, um, that's, I, I'm sure it's fur, fake fur. Well, it is now. Anyway, snip that end off that's not finished. And then I'm just going to go around here and add that. Right there. Oops, this piece, come on. go. I'm going to go on to the back side. Yeah, done. There we go. And going to do the other side. And then I'm going to snip that off there. go and and then I'm going to add on this one maybe I'm not going to add anything else let me see let me see well you know what I'm going to mess oh 
that hair or whatever it is. Let me see this here. Driving me crazy. Let me see something here. Last year I got all these these ribbons made for Christmas holiday projects. Michaels and they end up being on, on sale. We just had this equal air put in our house. It was supposed to cut down on the humidity. Uh, I keep telling my husband, I, I don't think he's got it turned up high enough because everything, there's more static electricity. Yep, I'm going to do that. I am going to take and add to the end of this. gold glitter. I'm going to come all the way around so I can pick up and there we go. And I think I'm going to have to go get myself a cough drop. My mouth is so dry. go and just a little tiny bit of wrap over here and there we go there we go done and I'm gonna put a little stand there's one and I've got two more to get or another the other pose the little the girl is in it so it's a little bit different pose I'll show you. I'll get these put together and then I'll take a picture of all of them. This is the my, the little daughter and the two. This, oh my gosh, she's so cute. I'll get these done and then take some pictures. And the next thing I'm going to be working on is another baby shower. So, I'll be back. Bye-bye.